Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to see how a dielectric between the capacitor plates affects the capacitance of the capacitor. So here we have a capacitor. Let's assume that we have air between the plates and the capacitance is defined as the amount of charge that collects on the plates divided by the amount of voltage we drive across or we hold across the capacitor plate. Also, we know that the voltage can be defined as, equal, as being equal to the strength of the electric field times the distance. And so if we have the distance between the plates right here, we can then say that the voltage across the plates can be defined by taking the strength of the electric field between the plates and multiplying it times the distance. And so since the capacitance is equal to the charge divided by the voltage, we can also say that capacitance is equal to the charge divided by the strength of the field and divided by the distance between the plates. So what happens when we place a dielectric between the plates? So here we have another capacitor, same dimension, same amount of charge on the capacitor, but now what we're going to do is place a dielectric between the plates. Now a dielectric will have a certain dielectric constant which is denoted by the, the letter K. So K is equal to what we call the dielectric constant. And typically it's a number between 1 and 5, 2, 3, 4, 5 is a typical dielectric strength, so dielectric constant, so denoted by the letter K. Now when we place a dielectric between the, the capacitor plates, what happens is that the electric field that's present there will cause the molecules within the dielectric to turn slightly. For example, when we have polar molecules that are inside the dielectric, the negative side of the molecule will tend to get pulled towards the positive end or the positive side of the capacitor and the positive side of the molecules will tend to get pulled towards the negative side of the capacitor so molecules will tend to get turned around to some extent will turn a little bit because there's it's a solid dielectric is a solid so the molecules can't freely turn around but they get pulled in that direction and because of that all the molecules will then get an orientation where the negative side of the molecules will be more towards the positive side of the capacitor and the positive side of the molecules will be more towards the negative side of the capacitor which then causes an electric field to be set up caused by the turning or the polarity of the molecules inside the dielectric there will be some electric field pointing in the opposite direction. That is a dielectric caused by the molecules turning inside the dielectric, setting up an opposing dielectric field. Because of that, we have our original electric field, which is the electric field caused by the charges on the capacitor plates, and then we have the induced electric field by the molecules inside the dielectric, which is in the opposite direction in such a way now that the net electric field between the capacitor plates is going to be equal to the sum of these two so in this case it's going to be the strength of the original field and then we have to subtract from that the strength of the field caused by the dielectric and so I'll just write it as E sub D to denote the difference. What I'm also going to do here is call this E sub naught and call this here E sub naught because this denotes the electric field strength in a capacitor where there's only air between the plates. Now what that means is if I now use this new electric field strength, the net electric field strength inside my capacitor, notice what's going to happen. If this was the original electric field strength inside a capacitor where there's air between the plates, then the new capacitance when I place a dielectric in there is going to be equal to the charge on the plates divided by the net electric field times the distance between the plates. Now notice the net electric field is going to be smaller than the original field, smaller due to the fact that we now have a, an opposing electric field by, caused by that dielectric in there and having a small electric field causes you to have a larger capacitance. How much larger? Well it turns out that the net electric field is going to be equal to the original electric field divided by the, the dielectric constant. And so what we can then say is that if I place that in here, I can say that the new electric field is equal to the charge on the plates divided by E sub naught divided by the dielectric constant times D, which means that this is equal to K times Q over the original electric field strength times the distance between the plates. 
Notice the only difference now between this equation and this equation is we have this additional dielectric constant. For example, if the dielectric constant is equal to 5, that means that when we place a dielectric in there, the capacitance of the capacitor is now 5 times as large as the original capacitor that simply had air in between. That is how dielectrics affect capacitors, and that's why often they place dielectrics in capacitors to increase the capacitance of the capacitor without having to make it bigger. So you can have smaller capacitors with a, with a dielectric between the plates to give it a larger capacitance. And that's how it's done.